I thought I was gonna get struck by lightning. Hey guys, so of course you can tell by the title, this is just a little chit chat on why and how I moved to Atlanta. Um, so just a little history, I'm from California, the Bay Area to be exact, and um, I've been in Atlanta now for about a month and a half, so it hasn't been that long at all. Um, now, the reason why I decided to move to Atlanta, um, there is no like big reason. The reason, like I didn't come here because I got a job and you know, I'm moving across the country for this awesome job or I decided to go to school and you know, none of that. I just wanted a change. I just, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. California is way too expensive, period, which brings me to my second reason of why I moved. Man, it has gotten so out of hand. Like, I literally don't understand how single people are able to live in California, like, by themselves. Like, rent, car note, car insurance, PG&E bills, um, just all the bills that you have. I don't understand how a single person is able to live in California by themselves. So it's just super expensive um and i just that was another reason why i wanted to go okay so um yeah california is just overall just too expensive so um oh and gas bruh gas is even hella high when i left gas was probably i think gas was like three 56 or somewhere around there probably even higher than that but when my mom came to visit here um a few weeks ago and she was telling me about gas prices she said that that shit is for like almost five dollars and i'm like gas is 280 out here <laughs> like no so it's overall it's just too much like i don't understand how people are surviving so i had to get the food reset but anyway <laughs> Um, so those are pretty much the reasons why I left. Now, how I came to the decision and how I chose Atlanta. So I thought about other places. Um, I thought about Phoenix, Arizona, which I hate Arizona. So honestly that like, I don't even know how that crossed my mind. I just knew that it was cheap and affordable and I was just like, okay, maybe Arizona, but it crossed my mind for like a split second. And then that was a no. Um, but I thought heavily about Texas, but the only thing with Texas is that I had never really been to Texas except for when I was a little girl and I don't really remember it. So I thought about Houston, Texas, and I thought about Dallas, Texas. So um, I was looking at places out there, fell in love with the places that I saw out there. Like their apartments were just everything. And especially for the amount that you know you're you would be paying out there it was just like oh my god I'm going to Texas but then um, I just thought about the fact that I don't really know anybody in Texas I mean I have family out there but they're not my immediate family I don't even really know them so I probably wouldn't even hang out with them or see them if I decided to move to Texas so it was like no I don't know anybody there um, and I would have just been there all alone with me and my son and I just felt like that wouldn't be a smart move. So Texas was a no. If you watched my driving slash moving across the country video, you, you will see that I actually stopped in Texas. I stopped in Dallas and I saw a friend out there and I partied a little bit and I actually, I actually liked it. But the weather was just it just took me out. First of all, when I got to Texas, it was fucking storming. Like, I thought I was gonna get struck by lightning. It was, it started storming, it started thundering and lightning. It was like raining hella hard. Okay, I guess that's storming, but it was just like, 
I, I had never really seen weather like that. And then when I got to my hotel, a fucking tornado warning came on my phone. And I'm like, what the, what the hell? Like, no, this is not gonna happen. So um, it, it was just a no for me. But I actually, I actually did like Texas, so um, yeah. But um, also ultimately, ultimately, I decided to move to Atlanta because I know people here. I have um, a pretty good amount of friends here. I have family here. They're my best friend. Well, my best friends live out there. Um, I love Atlanta. Everything was just pushing me towards Atlanta. So, so that's why I decided to move here. Now let's get into the how. I was living in California. Once my lease was up in my apartment, I was like, I'm moving. Like I'm, this is the time. Like I'm not renting another place in California. I'm not gonna pay $1,700 for a one bedroom with no washer and dryer, no updates, no nothing, nothing like that. And be living in a city where I don't even wanna live in. Like, so I was like, I'm leaving. There's no ifs, ands, or buts but there really was. So, the only thing that was holding me back was the fact that I have a six year old son. He loves his dad. He has a great relationship with his dad. Me and his dad aren't together, but um, I feel like we co-parent very well. And I just felt kind of selfish for wanting to leave. And so, once my lease was up, um, I had already decided that I was going. I hadn't found a place or anything yet, but I wanted to stay with my mom for a month. So I moved out of my place um, the end of February, and I was going to move to Atlanta the beginning of April. So I, the whole month of March, I was gonna stay with my mom, save up some more money, and then make my move. But I hadn't even talked to my son's dad yet. And that's the only thing that was holding me back. Like if I didn't have a kid, I would have been left. And that was the only thing that I needed to do, but I got so scared and I'm like, he's never going to let me leave. He's never gonna accept it. He's gonna fight me. He's gonna wanna take me to court and I'm gonna have to deal with all that. So I was like, ah. So I had decided to stay in California ultimately. Now let me tell y'all where God came in, like, or where I at least feel like it was God, it was a sign, whatever you wanna call it, it was the universe, whatever. This was a fucking sign. So I find this place. <laughs> the first day, infestation of roaches. I was like, oh hell no. I go to my mom's house. Um, I called the apartment people the next morning and I was like, listen, I want my money back. I'm not staying here. And I was just like, that was a sign like I, I'm not supposed to I feel like I'm not supposed to stay here so the next exchange with my son I was like I'm gonna talk to him so I took a shot and I was like hey so you know I just told him like I really want to leave I want to move out of state and I want to get your opinion on it I didn't want to just come and be like I'm leaving and that's it and you can't do anything about it and blah 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 and to say the least, he was actually pre pretty supportive. Like, he was okay with it. I was really surprised that it went so well, that our talk went so well. I was like, okay, so I searched online. I went on apartments.com and Rent Cafe. I love apartments.com because um, they have the um, virtual tours. So you can kind of like walk through the place. So I love apartments.com for that. Um, Rent Cafe is pretty accurate with the pricing. So I like Rent Cafe for that. Um, and then I would, like I said, go to their actual website and explore. And then I would call and be like, hey, do you guys have anything available? Um, and it was kind of hard. Like apartment searching is just really stressful. Like you have to really, it's like a job. So whatever I found my place and um, about a month later 
I it was time for me to move. I decided to drive because it was just way more expensive to ship my car. I didn't want to be without a car while I was still in California and I didn't want to be without a car while I got to Georgia like for like the first week or whatever however long it was going to be I I cannot be without a car like I can't and I wasn't about to rent a car because I was just going to be way more money like no so I was like I'm just going to drive so originally I had planned for my sister to go with me across the country and drive with me but we got into it and I was just like okay I'm going by myself then I thought about bringing my mom but she was like oh I have to work I have to study so I was just like I'm going by myself whatever um and it was not that bad go watch my video on driving across the country and you can you know check out like my whole experience so it wasn't that bad um as far as my furniture from like my last place I had actually had pretty much brand new furniture I had been in my apartment for about a year and my furniture was brand new um, it was really nice too so my ex-boyfriend bought all this furniture for me and a part of me so a part of me wanted to get rid of it just because um, I just wanted like a clean start like just I don't know I just didn't want that memory or whatever and then um, a part of me wanted to keep it because it was so nice and if I sold it I wasn't gonna get what it was worth plus um, buying new furniture I wasn't gonna get you know as nice of furniture that I had with that money so I ultimately decided to keep my furniture so I call I so I went on I did a Google search for uh, movers and I got a lot of different quotes and the quotes that I got were like 2400 2100 2000 and something for moving from California to Georgia and they said it would take about 10 days or longer. So um, I finally found one place that said they could do it for 1400 and um, it would take them ten day, 7 to 10 days. So I was like, okay, I went with them. I told them exactly what I had, which was not a lot. It was only a dresser. Um, a king size bed and mattress and a sectional couch and a 50 inch TV they told me 1400 um, and that I could probably squeeze in two extra boxes so I was like okay cool no they said four large boxes I could squeeze in four large boxes so I was like okay cool so I just the rest of my stuff that I had I was gonna take it in my car but I was like, if I don't have to stuff that stuff in my car, I might as well just put it on the truck with the rest of my stuff. So cool, I'll just, you know, add. And I wasn't even four large boxes. It was like two medium boxes. So when they got there, as soon as he opened my storage, he was like, oh, we don't have enough room for this stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, I told him everything that I had. I damn near measured it out for him like what do you mean you don't have enough room like did you how do you how would you not know what I had and if you had enough room like so he was like he told me that it would be 900 extra dollars for them to squeeze my stuff on the truck I was like okay you can put all my stuff back in my storage and I'll sell it all I was like I might as well just sell it so he was like okay like they kind of got a little irritated whatever put my shit back um, so I decided to sell it. This was like a few days before it was time for me to go. So I sold all my stuff within like three days. Um, and I sold it for pretty cheap. So I didn't get what it was worth at all. But I was just like, whatever. I was actually okay with it because like I said, I didn't want to have like that memory of that furniture that my ex bought me. So it was just like, it wasn't that bad. Now I want to just give a quick update on how it's been so far and like the pros and cons so far so like i'm a month and a half in so let me just start off by saying the traffic 
it's horrible yes it is horrible like I watched a whole bunch of videos on pros and cons of moving to Atlanta prior to moving to Atlanta and they were not lying like every video that I watched was like oh the traffic is horrible the traffic is horrible the traffic is horrible they was not lying the traffic is horrible the weather compared to California California is just super sunny in the summertime which it's summertime now well it's like the end of um, June oh my god today is the first day of summer yesterday was the first day of summer oh my god so anyway it's officially summer so <laughs> um, yeah that's one of the cons that it's raining like California is we never have a summer rain in California and if we do it's probably like once and it will be like what the like it's raining so out here it's just normal like it's it's freaking raining and it's summertime like it's not cold it's hot as hell outside but it's just I don't want to be wet and then it's just gloomy and then even like on the sunny days it's hot as hell but it's not sunny it's not bright it's not like happy like you know but I knew that before I came here, so um, it doesn't bother me that much, but it it makes me think about home and it makes me kind of miss that aspect of being home. The bugs. The bugs out here are huge. Like, I'm not used to this shit in California, like I swear. Like, they, listen, they got flying roaches, like big ass bugs that I don't even know what they're called. I've never seen them before. As soon as I open my window, all I hear like what it like what is that? So that's another con. But I don't think I really have any more cons um so far. So far I love it. Um it's definitely gotten me out of my comfort zone already. So I know a lot of people that are gonna watch this video are probably thinking about moving you know across the country to a new state whatever it may be um, and my advice or what I you know what I think is that you should just go for it you should just do it because it, it will definitely push you out of your comfort zone and you might try new things and I mean I've tried so many new things since I've been here like new foods that I wouldn't ever try or eat or you know just I got to know um some family that I was not in touch with at all since I was like a child like a baby damn near um and me and one of my cousins are like best friends now so um, I already had a lot of friends out here so I'm not lonely or anything like that but I mean even if you are going to a state or a city far away that you're not um, you don't know a lot of people and I still would say go for it like you'll meet new people I've met new people since I've been here already and um, it's been great like it really has been a great experience like I don't miss home I don't feel like I want to go back um, I don't feel like any of those things so overall so far it's been good just do it so just do it um, but yeah that's my experience um, I hope this helped anybody who's probably looking to move across the country or to a different state or a new city or anything I hope it really helped you um, yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe the whole spiel what everybody says um there will be more videos to come so um i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you later